Hello everyone, this is your friend SG and this is the third part of our movie app using React Native. So till now we have created the header and the carousel for our movie app. Now in this part we are going to create the trending people and the trending movies. Okay, so the very first thing that we need to do is we need to give the background color to our application. So for that inside the SRC, we are going to create a file called styles.js and here we are going to import the style sheet. So import style sheet from react native from react native. Now we are going to create styles. So styles will be style sheet dot create and it will be an object and we are going to export this so export default styles now inside this we are going to create a style for named section bg this will be the background so here we are going to give it a color of constants dot base color and we also need to give it the height of 100 viewports so for the height let's import dimensions here so dimensions and we are going to create a dimension of device height it will be dimensions dot get window height and we are going to assign it this height now this is the section bg so we need to use this style here inside to the parent view we are going to give this style so styles dot and bg and let's save it Why are the changes not visible? We didn't see anything. So styles dot section BG and this is section. Oh, instead of color, it should it needs to be background color. Okay. Now. Okay. So now the changes are visible to us. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do is inside the components, we need to create a component for trending people. Trending people dot JS and let's create a react native functional component. Okay. And for now, let's only write ending people and let's call this component here. After this discover movies, let's let's call this trending people component. Okay, let's save it and uh, okay, we got trending people written here. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a variable called loading and set loading and we are going to import use state from react use state and it will be a state variable with initial value as true along with this we are going to create another variable for people and set people it will be also use state use state use state and the initial value will be an empty array okay empty array now next thing that we need to do is so inside this view we need to do if it is in the loading state I, that which means if the loading is true then we need to display an activity indicator with size as large size as large and the color as text color constants dot text otherwise we need to display none so let's see so we got the indicator here okay so one more thing that we can do is inside this component we can create a separate component for loader and we can import the loader here uh, we can keep the loader there so let's create a react native functional component and let's cut this entire loader from here and paste it out here so paste out here so instead of view and text we need to import activity indicator also we need to import constants import constants okay so this is the activity indicator now here we need to import the loader so it will be loader okay so this is done okay next so next thing that we need to do is we need to call use effect so this is use effect now we also need to pass an empty array to this so that it only works on the very first load of the component okay so now inside this let's create a component called get people and it will be an asynchronous function and here we are going to call this 
get people function okay so inside this we need to make an api call so what will be the api call it will be a get call, call to slash trending slash person e e r s o n slash week so this will give me the trending people of the week okay so once i get this i need to set this to the people's object so it will be data dot results and along with this we need to set the loading as false okay so as soon as i get the data this loader will ah, so this loader disappeared which means that i got the data now next thing that i need to do is so here right now we are displaying null but now we don't need to display null here so instead of this null i'm going to create a view here so let's create a view and inside this view firstly let let's add some text so text will be the heading it will be trending people so let's give some styles to this sorry style so styles will be styles dot. let's create some styles for this so what should i name it i'll name it heading okay let's save it and uh, so this is the styles component here i'm going to create heading h e a d i n g okay uh, it's saying what I am uh, text is not defined it's saying so here I have to import text okay and yes done now we were on this heading so for this heading what we need to do uh, firstly let's keep the color as dot color instead of, instead of text color let's keep it faded color next we need to give the font size as 20 uh, let's keep it 19 and margin let's keep it 10 okay so yeah so we got trending people written here okay now next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, where are we here so here we need to use a flat list so flat list okay all the data that we want we want it in the horizontal direction we don't want to see the indicator as well the scroll bar so for that we are going to use show horizontal indicator as false next thing is key extractor so here i'll get id and from that i need to keep item dot id okay now next thing will be data so the data is the people object and last thing is the render item so for render item let's create a function so uh, let's create a function called display people display people will be a function and i'm going to call uh, pass this function here so display people and here in the display people i'm going to uh, get the items so this item will be here okay so now i got this item from here i need to return the data that i need to display here okay so for that i'm going to return a view now the very first thing that i need to return is the image the image of the people so here i'm going to use the image tag this image tag from react native so is it imported uh, no i have to import it I'll import image here okay so now in the image it will contain a source so sorry the source so the source will contain the uri now what will be the uri so the uri will be image poster url then after that so i'm getting this item so item dot profile underscore path okay this is uh, this is the image now we need to do add the styles so for the styles i'm getting styles dot uh, trending people image let's use this i'll copy this and uh, I'm going to add this style here okay so for this i need to firstly give border radius as 100 next i need to give height as 70 and width as 70 okay so let's see do i get the images hmm. no i didn't get them so hmm so oh okay so the issue is this needs to be an await call the get request that we are making the request needs to be await so it is an asynchronous call so it will return me a promise so i need to add await before so i'll save it and i got the data here i got all the images of the people here okay so let's do one more thing now here 
after this i'm going to add their names so it will be item dot name and i'm going to give it a style of ending people name okay let's copy this one and add these styles here so for that i'm going to give a color of constants dot text color and the font no not font size i'm going to let's give it a width so the width will be 70 and uh, text align center okay so i got the names and uh, yep okay seems good now i'm going to give some margin to from top so margin top will be 10 okay. so next thing that we need to do let's add some style here so it will be styles dot ending people dinner okay so i'll use this and now here i'll give margin margin from everywhere as 10 okay so yeah now it seems good okay so these are the trending people and this is the carousel